Welcome back to Elden Ring, everyone. I made it back to the capital city here, Lanedell. This is the West Capital Rampart, because I think this is the way forward. Like, this has to be the way forward. I mean, it's like a very, very prominent path, and I'm gonna commit, I think. God, these things look very strange, don't they? Because it's not like a full gargoyle. Or is it? No, this one is. I fucked up. See, because you have those, like, weird, like, mutant gargoyles. And I was like, that's one of those. But no, this is a full, actual, legit gargoyle. And it was kind of a pain in the ass to fight this thing on the stairs as well. So I can only imagine how big of a pain it is to fight him here. And it's something I'm not gonna do. I don't think so, bitch. I'm onto your tricks. Yeah, um... So he's freaking out up above. Which is fine by me. Um, see, now I'm thinking... Depending on what his attack pattern is like. Souls enemies don't tend to... Of, of course, a fucking course. Yeah. It's not gonna work. I thought I could cheese him with the stairs, but... Yeah, yeah. It, it ain't possible. I mean... Sometimes it is. Probably if I had some specific weapon. He's not gonna jump down here, is he? Oh, come on. He has ranged. Um, yeah, probably with some weapon it would be possible. Actually, I did just get all this poison shit, didn't I? And I do wonder. This is an interesting encounter to say the least. Uh, anyways, I think this is pretty much a dead end. And kind of can go up the tree. What the, what the hell is going on? This episode is starting out so chaotic. I mean, to be fair, it is my fault for... Oh, yeah, okay. For aggroing this thing when I probably shouldn't have aggroed him. Oh, is that how you get to the second floor of the, the round table hold? I think it might be. Let's go check it out. Hell yeah, it is. I was gonna hopefully get the gargoyle off my ass as well, and I can warp back to the bonfire and all that. The blacksmith area, sanctified wet blade, interesting. Hammer, <laughs> nice. Probably gives us, like, faith-based things. I'm actually picking up quite a few stones, like, stones, sixes. The naming convention of the upgrade materials. Oh, interesting. New gesture. The naming convention of uh, the upgrade materials is so fucked up in this game. I don't know why they couldn't just keep it simple. Hey, hey a rune arc, which... Am I ruined up or not? I actually can't even tell at this point. I am ruined up. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. I had the finger room. Coded. So, oh, these things look really cool. I didn't show this, but I got one of these before. Uh, these are faith weapons, and they have like a really, really awesome appearance. This is probably a short sword, I think, maybe. Coded, coded, coded. There it is. Look at how cool that thing looks. And it has like a noise as well with it and everything. Awesome. Probably has some like ability that I am unable to use. There are so many badass weapons in this game. Honestly. Obviously this game has way more weapons than probably any other Souls game before. Maybe with the exception of Dark Souls. I mean Dark Souls 2 has a shit ton of weapons as well. Uh, 
Ja. Interesting that everything is mirrored. Is that the dude? Is he wearing... No, 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 it's just some rando. Because then, like, the round table hold really is more like a... It's sort of like a different dimension. It's like the nexus. To get deep into the lore. Oh, and this guy... Seed bat curse. Yeah, this is another one of these things. Interesting. The dung eater. Of course, the dung eater room would have something like this. Cool, but that was fun. That was a fun little excursion. Let's head back. And let's try something. See, here is the deal. My train of thought is we come down here. And we start raining fucking... Poison shit on this guy. Which doesn't poison him. Which doesn't poison him. With the possibility that this guy cannot be poisoned. Now sort of looming. Hmm. Okay. Well, this is interesting. I forgot that you're here. Ah, shit. This didn't go well either. At least, okay. That's good to know. That you can jump the triple crossbow. Oh, come on. Didn't work. I am... A little bit disappointed. I have no idea what the hell is going on, but them hitboxes are crazy. Uh, what else do I have? I have... I have uh, blood grease. Inflicts... Probably inflicts bleed. I could probably bleed this thing. Let's try it. And I, I know you're saying, like, Mr. Sketchhead, you're just desperately looking for a way to cheese this guy. To which I say, of course I am. This guy was a massive pain in the ass, so... Cheesing is the way to go. Come on, just bleed. Aside from the fact that I'm not dealing any damage to him. Annoying thing about this guy is he's really hard to hit. Oh, come on. He, 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 I don't think he can be bled. Yeah, that does no damage. Oh, hey, give me that. Okay, this might be the place, as in where I can exploit him. Still got a couple of heals. Oh fuck, I meant to switch. I'm... Fuck, well whatever, we got what we came for. I have the golden seed, it doesn't matter. Yeah, these enemies are super, super, super annoying. Just has a shit ton of HP, can't be poisoned, can't be uh, bled, you know. Really, really difficult to hit. Of course my shit's gotta be there. Whatever. Just give me this. I'm gonna peace out. Thanks, bruh. Oh shit, he's gonna range me, isn't he? Yeah, of course. The question is, how far does his aggro go? Oh, okay, this is, this is bad. And I just realized I lost my rune arc. And I just realized I was fighting him with the rune arc. Which gives you like 
stat ups and he was that difficult. Like, imagine this dude without. Or are they just like praying to the earth tree? I'm just like murking them. I think I am. Whatever, these guys are probably evil. Or something. Yeah, they're all... That thing does look pretty cool. The earth tree, I mean. Yeah, the things could be a problematic here. Yeah, I'm just getting all their shit. Actually... Sometimes I forget that I have a shield, and it's not a bad shield either, so... I don't know. And sometimes I forget that there's an entire mechanic in this game that I'm not using, which is the, the block counter stuff. I don't know why, honestly. I thought I think it's a neat mechanic. It's just not the kind of build, like, like you know, you know how it is. Sometimes you just don't have that kind of build going for you. Reuse something. Anyways. Oh, fuck off. What the hell? Godfrey first Elden Lord. Okay. I'm gonna guess if there's one enemy that can't be bled, it's gonna be this guy. Is he just like a ghost or something? Well, okay. I wish I had time to sort of prepare for this because that would have been nice. Whatever. He's basically a summon, spirit summon, isn't he? This definitely can't be it. Like, this dude is mad easy. Gonna bring out that crazy second phase. Of course. So I might just try my quick weapons. What the oh interesting. Yeah, that's that's not too that's not too terrible. Uh mistake of Marika. Would prefer not to lose the 30k here. Uh, that would be nice. At least now I have like time to prepare and you know like buff up and shit you know that's not gonna do much it's still like helpful i could spirit summon but yeah i don't think i need to it's a very gwen type attack isn't it what did i say about them souls yeah Thanks. I'm an idiot because I can't fucking see my Estes because my headphones are in a position where they're blocking that part of the screen and I could very easily move them but I've just not done it for some reason. So like what's the deal with this guy because from what I've been like piecing together this is the dude that got like cocked, isn't it? That right that there was that other guy Radagon. Like he's the guy that was married to Marika. Godfrey, yeah, he was like the first dude. The first Elden Lord. This is what the turtle said. And then this other guy Radagon came along and stole her. And then this guy, I guess he became a ghost or something. He was ex exiled, wasn't he? So probably this, this is just like some ghost or something. What am I doing? Why didn't I buff up? Hey, yeah, like... Can I have my... Yeah. I'm like really playing with fire here. Oh man, is it nice to see your Estus.
This is such a like classic Souls Knight boss. Which is why I'm thinking there's gotta be some like insane ass second phase. He does do a lot of damage. Like I'm not saying he doesn't. If I had to guess, it's gonna be like it's gonna turn out something is summoning him. Like some other enemy and that, that thing is gonna pop up. God that attack is tricky. What the fuck that breaks lock on? I almost fucked up there, by the way. Ah, oh, fuck. Why you gotta use a slow weapon? That, that attack is screwing me up really badly. Actually, I think Reduvia might be a little bit better here. This is very fast. Yeah, fuck. You know, let's try some different buffs here because I feel like... Oh, that does look nice. I've not been using my buffs too much and... Like... Obviously, I feel like the lightning and all that is gonna be just absolutely trash against this guy. I also have the holy one, which, yeah, I think this guy is made of holy, so... I don't think that's gonna be working. So... fire. And obviously things like Scarlet Rot and all that shit, I don't think are gonna be working. Yeah, you gotta dodge the other way against that attack. Maybe finally I'm not gonna be a dumbass. Oh yeah, I used the Rune Arc too, just cause I have a shit ton of them. Oh nice! Nice-o, nice-o, nice-o! Eat shit, ghost. He, what he does is he gets quicker. There are definitely some attacks you can bait out. Yeah, this is definitely a dodge to the left type dude. I see it now. He just deals so much damage. Yeah, he is. Easy. Please don't have a second. Oh, nice. There was a one phase boss. <laughs> what the fuck? That was an actual one phase boss. I, I don't think we've had a single one phase boss. Uh, like ever. That's quite a lot. Let's get that sweet, sweet 40. Yeah. Um, yeah, I, I don't know what to say. That was very, very easy, like, compared to everything else. Like, depending on where we are, because a part of me still thinks that there is some trick here. Like, 
there's gonna be something. Okay, that was fucking stupid. The fact that I didn't die is a miracle, and I'm gonna take my victory here. Let's try that again. See, the thing is, this is 100% gonna be a shortcut, right? This, this to me looks like a shortcut. Uh, where are we? I don't think we've been to this part of the city, right? Regression alone reveals secrets. Oh shit. Regression alone re what the hell? This is some secret entrance, right? Don't run away. It's like, it's gotta be some gesture, right? You gotta use... Something I probably don't have. Hold on. Hold on, hold on. I, I will look through. Perfumer hood. Perfumers. Finally, I can put a name. See, we've had this before and it's just... This is weird. Oh shit. Am I not happy to see you? I'm not happy to see you. God, I hate these guys. Especially this spear version is like a real motherfucker. It's just like you... You, you just can't dodge him. He has like infinite poise. Fucking hell. Crazy range. And then he goes into the second phase where he just straight up one shots you. Yeah, like what the hell was that? God, I hate you. I don't think he can be bled either. Okay, stay cool, stay cool. You have a rune arc. Nice. Ooh, that didn't hit. Because in my counter attack then come on. Gotta stop doing all these jump attacks. They don't always work. Thank you. That is a lot of <laughs> three. <laughs> one of the weird one of the things is like enemies are the like the amount of runes enemies give is Structured sort of strange in this game, honestly. Uh, like some really difficult enemies barely give anything most of the time. I don't, I don't know what to do here. I like with these footstep thingies. So not that I mind. It ain't gonna kill me. You can 100% get on that roof. Right? Hell yeah, you can. Where it actually leads anywhere is question number two. Which is looking, it's looking like it kind of, sort of doesn't. But um, you can never be sure. Never be sure. I don't even know if I've been to this part of the capital. I mean, obviously, we are being pushed in a direction which is not this direction. Because clearly, after <clears throat> Godric or Godfrey or whatever, 
there's like another path, which probably if you're watching this video, you are more curious about, and I don't blame you. We're gonna get back on track. I'm just gonna pick up this treasure. See, this, this is the gargoyle I thought we were encountering. Like, this dude is a bitch. These guys probably have some interesting lore with them. Smithing stones, nice, nice, nice. Runes and runes. Alright, let's just go where the game is, like, wanting us to go. Like, if, if there is a, another path here. Are these dudes dead? Yeah, they are. I love the look of this place. Like, holy shit. This is by far the best Souls city ever created. Because... Like, An Orlando was bare bones, obviously. Uh, Dark Souls 2 didn't really... Well, it had Elaim Lois, which was good. That That's where it started to go up. And then the Ringed City I found kind of like underwhelming. And we also had Irithyll, which... Aside from the, the reveal that it was Anor Londo, was also kind of underwhelming. I'm gonna guess that we have to light these two things somehow. Right? That's the type of quest you would find. Um... But here they really, this is by far and wide the best city ever created or ever put in a soul. Well, of course, we also had Yarnum, but Yarnum is its own thing entirely. Like, I feel like that's not a fair comparison, but Yarnum is excellent. Yeah, I thought so. Thought there's a way to get there. God, that dragon looks so awesome. If this transports me away, I'm <laughs> I'm gonna be pissed. And I, obviously, none of this shit is really like super super mega useful that I'm getting here. But at this point, why not? Golden Order Principia. Listen, I'm curious. Prayer Book of the Golden Order Fundamentalists, a dense and complex academic treat treatise that contains the Order's fundamental principles, can be given to a learned cleric, yeah, yeah, yeah. It gives us spells. I thought it would have a little bit more lore. Unlike stuff. But it's all cool. It's all cool. We got a shortcut out of it. Let's move on. I mean, we still got some time from this episode, so... Yeah, you know, making progress here. There is something over there, like, it's pointing towards like this, this area of the map and I don't know, man, I don't know. I feel like there is so much left of this game. Hello. Oh, fuck. It's... A black knife assassin. Just showing up out of nowhere. Don't get me get make. Don't make me get the doggos out. That's how I beat the first one. But that one actually had like a boss HP bar. This one seems just way weaker. They have a nice move set. It's playing Bloodborne. They're playing Bloodborne, and that, that is a fucked up move. It, like, debuffs you. From what I can tell, you take damage. Like, damage over... It's like a mini poison. Fuck, you're annoying. I do... wonder. It's too slow. But it kind of isn't. She broke my guard. I think it said somewhere that they are all women. Uh, it's gonna give me... God, 
God. There we go. That that last hit though, right? It's always that last hit. I feel like Guinevere should be sitting right here. Right? Where is Guinevere when you need her? Blessing of the Earth Tree. Holy shit, this is like some... This is definitely some Guinevere level, level advanced ass miracle, right? 38, yeah. One of the ancient Earth Tree incantations grants a great blessing to the caster and nearby allies, gradually restoring a large amount of HP. Hold to continue praying and delay activation. The Earth Tree once flourished with abundance, yet it was only for a fleeting moment. Such is the course of all life. We're getting some like dank lore from these. And speaking of dank lore, I think I, yep. Four golden seeds. Speaking of, I, we're getting to the point where I need uh, to get more sacred tears because the charges aren't, oh fuck. There's gonna be a big boss here. Yeah, this is this is going to be something for sure. We have the summons. Actually, I've not like been checking these out. That's one of the things like I've not been paying attention to the NPC summons. We have someone. Oh, is the chick from uh the one-armed chick, right? What? Melina, we can summon our waifu. This has to be big. This has to be big. Um, this can't be like an ordinary thing, right? No way. No way, no way. Um, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to have to cock block you viewers a little bit. Uh, you got to play the YouTube game a little bit. And I feel like starting the the next episode with fresh eyes and a view on what's over here should be great. Instead of having whatever this big reveal is, I'm guessing it's the big boss who should be... I don't know. I don't know. I don't remember. I could go back to the round table hole to check, but whatever. Uh, yeah, instead of the big reveal, we'll wait until the next episode. I feel like we made good progress today anyways. I'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode here. I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed as always. If you did, make sure to like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications, and I will catch all of you next time. Peace out and goodbye.